you guys are looking to scale your Shopify store with paid ads, but you don't necessarily know how to target, who to target, and when to target, or what to show them, I'm breaking down our agency's entire process during our onboarding to ensure that our audiences and our secondary audiences have as much information as possible to scale stores. If you're looking for that kind of information, make sure to stay tuned. Let's get into it. My name is Chris Morano, founder of Blue Water Marketing, an agency that scales e-commerce stores from six and seven figures to eight figures and more. We do that through paid media, Google ads, Facebook ads, email marketing, and UGC content creation. What we do is we put together an omni-channel plan that grows stores based on repeatable systems and processes. And like I said, one of those processes is how to identify specific personas to target via paid ads that are more likely to purchase. So I wanna get into all of that today. And I'm breaking it down because it's really important. We get into ad accounts all the time with very broad open targeting, the same copy across every single audience. And it just doesn't resonate. The way we do things is certain angles for certain people. So what we're breaking into, I'm gonna show you right here on this screen, how we identify these how we get the sign off, and then what happens next. So without further ado, let's hop into Google Sheets. All right, so what you guys are seeing right here is literally our client brief template. And I'm starting here because guys, this is where we start and it's super important to be able to get the necessary information and convey what our research and data is showing to the client to make sure we're getting everything right. And so this might just look like a generic sheet, but when we bring on a new client, this is exactly what we're going through. So the first step is basic. What are the deliverables for this campaign? This stuff is more from an internal perspective so that we can pass the message along to all of our team members here. What are the deliverables for this campaign? Do we anticipate any internal external factors? I believe I got this from HubSpot years ago. I'll try to find a link. If I do, it'll be in the description below. But more importantly, project overview. What is the problem we're solving and how are we solving it? Why are we solving this problem? What are the benefits of the product or products that we're selling? And how does this problem align with our product? So very kind of basic information, but it's a starting point. From there, who are we trying to reach? And we always like to have a minimum of one to two personas. And the reason we want to have one to two, maybe three or four, is because each of these different personas, in theory, are going to be shown a different angle or hook, different benefit to them. And the reason we do it that way is because if we're targeting moms for one thing, and then we're targeting grandmas for another, two different use cases, two different benefits. Moms are looking for one, grandmas are looking to give the best gift ever to their grandkids. So the copy needs to relate to those specific people. From there, what are the client's brand values? How can we use those to shape the tone of this campaign? So our team is literally filling out all of this information, and then we're presenting it to the client. What do you want your audience to take away from this campaign? What do you want them to feel? Campaign concept statements. Why does our audience need the solution? What can you say that will make your audience actually believe the message? What proof can you offer to build trust and validate the message? Campaign exclusions. What are we not covering? We actually just had this come up during an onboarding call today where we were reviewing this. There's something specific that this client Although we felt it important, they said otherwise. What are the messages, emotions, and features? And if you guys keep watching, I'm actually going to show you a completed version from one of our clients that will put all of this together. And then campaign inspiration. We use foreplay.io, which is a fantastic tool to find creative that we can show the client to say, hey, what do you think about this look and feel? Where are you seeing with this? If you guys found this information super valuable on growing your stores, hit thumbs up, hit subscribe, and let's get back into it. All right, so we are in one of my client's actual client briefs that we created for 
them during our onboarding process. This is the pre-strategy to make sure that my team is in alignment with what their goals are, both from a brand perspective as well as what we think we can accomplish from a paid ads strategy. So what problem are we solving? Well, we aim to highlight how your product uniquely meets the aesthetic and safety demands of modern parents, emphasizing innovative design and quality materials. The marketing message will resonate with parents who are seeking products that align with their lifestyle and aesthetic preferences. Our strategy is to position your product, not just as practical items, but as essential elements of a modern stylish home. Why are we solving this problem? What's the benefit? The benefit is focusing on both style and functionality. Again, reiterating that previous point, our marketing efforts will showcase the dual benefits, reinforcing the idea that choosing your product means that no compromises are necessary to the actual target audience. From there, how does this problem align with our product? Well, current gap, between the style, safety, and sustainability of this specific product. Our goal is to ensure that the alignment is clear and compelling in all communications, handcrafted, quality, safety, and the unique design are all the value propositions that we have isolated. So who are we targeting? Modern millennial parents, ages 25 to 40, predominantly female, married with a higher than average household income based on the price point of these products. Employed full-time, or stay at home mom values aesthetic and design as much as functionality. So getting into kind of the thought process behind, and we are doing this for every single client that comes on. So if you're interested in working with Blue Water Marketing, having something like this done for your team so that you know what your agency is doing, the copy, all of these items, this is the foundation. If you're interested in this, click the link below, book a call with one of my team members or myself see if we'd be a good fit to help you grow your store. Then we're going in here, needs and goals. This is a baby product. Seemingly integrate into their stylish homes, pain points. So that's our first target. Second target based on the budget and there's kind of a budget constraint. So ideally we'd actually like to have three different targets, but this one's going to be trendy grandparents, 50 to 70, predominantly female, often retired values the role of nurturing supportive grandparents so basically my team is then going to create two different ad copy variations for these two target audiences because the angle is different again like i said in the beginning angle one is the mom who wants something really nice for her home and her kids angle two is the grandparent who's looking for something different than what can be purchased at walmart or on amazon these are very nice products so integrating both now our copywriters are making a number of variations based on the two different angles, two different audiences, and then the creative also will align with both targets. So this is what we're doing. If you guys have any questions on why we do it this way, thoughts on it, like I said earlier, if you want to book a call with us, see if we'd be a good fit to help you grow your agency. Click the link down below, book a call. We'd love to have a discussion to see if we'd be the right partner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit thumbs up, hit subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.